We're talking about JavaScript today and how JavaScript can become incredibly bloated. And there is one thing that really does bloat the front end, and it's bloated the front end far more than anything else in the past five years. That is the node, um, the, the, the underscore modules, the node underscore modules um, folder. That is huge. Go and check it out. Um, that just checked out the file size of all of that. It is incredibly large in a project that you probably think is extremely small and lightweight. Um, and we get into this sort of false misconception of only just deploying things like our package.json file um, and not considering what's in that modules folder uh, because we, we're only committing that one little single file. We don't, we forget what the repercussions of that massive file has. Um, and when you go and build and deploy the application, you're left with this ginormous weight on your application of all of the things that you've, you've hacked to download because your Webpack um, file re requires all of these dependencies and all of their dependencies and so on and so forth. Because of course, you're not only downloading the, the dependencies that are outlined in the actual uh, JSON file, but you're also downloading all of the stuff for those dependencies too. So you might get a, a sh if you haven't looked at your node underscore modules folder, you might get a, a bit of a shock at actually the size of that. And you have to take that into consideration, especially when we're talking about progressive web apps, because that is going to be downloaded to the to the um, to to the device to the application, right? So it, it so your your website is becoming huge in terms of file size because you're having to carry all of that weight with you, um, and it just gets bloated. It just gets big and big and big. And bloat often means slowness um, to to load. I mean, when we start talking about little apps that just display blogs in progressive web apps, which are more than perhaps 20, 30 megabytes, then that's insane. Um, but you know, that is the world that we're living in, unfortunately.